Ciao ragazzi and welcome back to Lampy. Reasons you should still move to Germany in 2020, especially yes. Berlin, Germany. There are reasons that are still keeping us here as well. Yeah, uh, and there are some good reasons why we are Before we move to the video, there is the question of the day. Would you move to Germany? Why should you move to Germany in 2020? And number one for me, why should you move here? It's just a culture exposure to like a multicultural city like Berlin where we live. Yeah. I mean... And then I would say it's not about Germany on its whole, it's just about Berlin because Berlin is now in Europe like the probably most multicultural city that there is. Whether you are from the African continent, you are from America, you are from somewhere else in Europe, I think in Berlin you would always find part of your culture. And yes, also get to learn true. about everything else. You would go to, you know, like some areas where you only find Middle East, like a lot of Middle East restaurants, like Persian and all these other restaurants, yeah. you would go to some street where you find a lot of just African food as well. Oh, well, I mean, I've been to parties where it was all Jamaican <laughs> yeah. jerk, chicken and all these things. It's I mean, just, you also have clubs that are just like... Multicultural. Multicultural, so yeah. This is, for me, reason number one. Exposure. You would also say, I just love Asian food or I just love Italian food and you still experience that without... Moving to Italy, like if you're living in Berlin, you are definitely well connected to Europe. So for me, number two on this list is really easy access to other European countries. Mm -hmm. You get your Schengen visa when you're living in Germany, and then you can easy jet van a from Berlin. You can go to any places for a very good price. Very good price. So this is for me. A very big reason if you are a traveler and you want to travel to different places just settle in Berlin Germany and you can say weekend I mean we have also done that before like weekend yeah. 20 euros we are in Mallorca we are coming not, back on Monday not only that but the position in Europe itself like from one side you have kind of East Europe and there is Poland there is uh, uh, Czech Republic, you can go visit all these countries that are really interesting and nice culture to to get in contact to. And on the other side, as, you, as she said, the connection with the flights, you can go within one hour and a half almost everywhere in, within Europe. And it's just, there is no such other country like that. It's just amazing. Expo you know, like exposure to culture, but this also brings us to this next point, which is just feeling accepted and included because mm -hmm. of how multicultural the city is also the Berlina themselves they are so used to this multicultural environment that they are so accepting to just oh you're a foreigner you're an expert whatsoever you don't speak German but it's fine yeah. most of them also speak English you just feel like I mean, you're accepted I would say you are included them, you are yes, invited to them. parties even if you don't know the German culture whatsoever it just feels like that it's just like I don't know, like you really feel that in Berlin this multicultural thing and when you go through, it's fine. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. So many different things, like if I think about the nightlife in Berlin, you find really so many different opportunities because of this multiculturality. <laughs> Ooh, this one, especially in 2020, there's no way you can talk. If you think of a place you're moving to, Things that comes to your mind, I think, in this era is always sustainability, yeah. close to nature. How do I'm going wow, to wow. organic access to organic, you know, groceries and yes. items and zero footprints. This in Berlin is, especially in Germany in general, also like it's a major thing. You just feel like you are supporting the environment. You have so many opportunities yeah. to make those decisions yeah, that you don't have in other lands. Yeah, that is, to be honest, one of the things that I appreciate more about, most about this country, like the the fact that is really they imprinted into the culture the love for nature and the love for a sustainable kind of society that uh, uh, want to be like cautions about how they, how they use their nature and that is really something strong within German culture and especially in Berlin is like everywhere. 
all of course why are you moving to germany if we are thinking about ourselves you definitely want to find job opportunity and i think for me as a foreigner working in germany i i'm comparing this to namibia i definitely have more gem, uh, job opportunities here than that i would have in my job and with that also of course i have more competition but still the opportunities are more in terms of job opportunity they are open to accepting also people from different universities different parts of the world as well as long as you just first do a verification to 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 kind of prove that you have studied what you applied for yeah absolutely but access of for uh, on the job market for foreign people is is easy because the welfare system, they really support you and integrate you from day one. So if you have uh, no knowledge of the language, they support you and they pay for you uh, up to a certain stage to learn the German language. They have job centers that are working really well. So it's like the same system itself that really integrate people and they push them to, be, to find a job. That is really good. Plan, if you are planning to move somewhere, Obviously, I think the first thing that comes to your mind is how you're going to deal with issues of insurance, issues of uh, education, mm -hmm. fees and things like that, whether you have a family or is yourself planning to study. So in Germany, this is also very attractive. Universities are for free. If yes. you go into public universities, the social welfare is really, really to good. Another level. So you have education for free. For me, it was number one why i'm here is because i wanted to study and it was just way cheaper for me to be in the uni where i don't have to pay for subjects and then the other thing is also you want to think of also how good the medical insurance are and they're also super good and it's a good reason to move if you have a family you can also do a good family insurance for very good prices yes so healthcare for sure it's good public education is good if you're planning for me this is important as a woman because planning or moving to another country you want to think of oh my goodness maternity leave if i decide to start a family or how is how much time am i allowed to be home to raise my kids and germany has one of the longest maternity leaves mm -hmm. you have a year after giving birth of course you can decide if you want to go to back to work earlier or you you can actually have maximum three years staying at home after giving birth to just rest your children and at the same time your partner has also an extra time you as a husband yeah like you know you think even even husband they are allowed to be at home and spend time with their family and help their wife raising their children for a certain time that for me is amazing i have to look at always my home country which is namibia and we don't have that and we have maternity leave of about three months so when i think of a year for me it's a lot and also think of those maximum three years i can't even imagine that is amazing and to know that i can also say okay you as the husband stay at home and help me i can't think of another way that is better for supporting people who want to start family when as soon as you decide you're moving somewhere you definitely want to look at money factor the cost of living of where you are going to be Berlin is amongst the cheapest cities to live in Europe and it's very affordable. You can really find good places, apartment to share or apartment also by yourself, just are affordable and nice to live in. I mean, you need to Brussels. know the right people to be honest. Huh? It's not always like that. Even if it's just a standard apartment, you don't know nobody, it's still cheaper than if you choose to move to London. Yeah. That's those that was what I say is true, still true about Berlin. In Berlin, in certain area, you can find apartment for a cheap price. Yeah, uh, that is for me very attractive. And if I think of cost of living, I'm thinking of uh, those prices, the prices for apartments. I'm obviously also thinking about prices for groceries. Mm -hmm. Super affordable as well. The groceries are as well very, very affordable. And I'm also thinking of the cost of transport. And yes, those ABC <clears throat> Berlin tickets. Average salary and in Berlin is still really, really good. So that that's that's for sure something positive about the city. Another reason to move. This is the very last one and very obvious. If you like beer, just move to Germany. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not even an alcohol. It's 
It's a nutrient. It's a, no, it's not a nutrient. It's water. No, <laughs> they it's think a it nutrient. Water. Yes, but it is actually a nutrient. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you see the belly, yeah, definitely it is. You were laughing. Beer in Berlin is culture, is cheap and is nice. So you should be definitely get into this aspect of German life. 10 reasons why you should move to Berlin, Germany in 2020. If you like traveling, here is most amazing and cheap connection to different cities in Europe. If you also just like to be sustainable and stuff, you're still going to find those nice neighborhoods in Berlin where I was just very focused on being organic and reducing carbon footprints. Yeah. So, and otherwise, if you just enjoy beer and a schnitzel, at the right place as well, just come and join the party and the most intercultural, I mean, yes, the very most multicultural city I know of in Europe, I think is Berlin, and just come for that. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We live in the Berlin area as foreigners from Namibia, Italy, and that's why we come out here making this kind of video. See you in our next episode. Oh.